With InsideWorks, we have the ability to uh, receive um, purchase orders that are uh, inbound. So let's go into sales and purchases. We're going to create a purchase order and we're going to receipt it and put it away. So let's go new. Uh, we're going to just pre-fill this in um, and, and we're going to use that as a shipment number. Um, but for this example, we're going to go order some more Athens desks because we're enjoying using those at the moment. Um, we've got to check our warehouse location. So our default location, the default company location is set, but I want to receive this into demo. And on this line here, we're going to have to make sure that we've got the location code set here of demo. And I can see I've got 128 units in stock. We've got a tax setting and we're going to order another 300 of these tables. All right, so that's a big purchase order. A couple of things here to note is this is an open order. So if I go to receive on the device, you'll notice that the 106109 order is not showing here. It's not available. That's because the device configuration is set to only show released orders. When we release this, we hit release. We go back on the device to receive. You will see that we can now see the order 109. Now the same principle applies to all data grids within the device you can hold. Choose, enable the vendor name, bring that to the top. We can also have a due date might be useful um, and the number itself, I'm going to reduce the amount of characters that this uses because it just uses our landscape. All right, so here we can see it's due date. We can see who the document's currently assigned to. So as a basic principle, I'm going to, on the device, double click and I'm going to go over to my codes. From here, we can see it says scan the item. So I'm just going to scan that item. It's going to show me a picture and I'm going to receive 300 items. Now, you could also receive different units of measure just here if you had it by the pallet or by the carton. Um, you could scan a different unit of measures barcode and it would then count down instead of an each, a one quantity, it would count down by whatever the carton quantity or whatever the pallet quantity is. Just going to hit OK on that. The open quantity now is completed. We can see that that's, that's closed. When we went into this receipt, it's gone and created a receipt against this purchase order. So if we go related, warehouse, warehouse receipt lines, you'll notice that currently there is a warehouse receipt. And you'll see here that this it has actually entered 300 to receive uh, from the device. As I go out from the device, the team would have receipted and pressed yes. And this receipt is now gone. And as far as we're concerned on the purchase order, when we refresh it, we can now see here that we have received 300 units and we're ready to convert this purchase order to a purchase invoice. Within the system, we now need to put the unit away. So we're going to go to put away and from put away, double click the put away and here we've got the ability to see that we've got a unit that's due to go into a uh, a1 a01 and it's expecting 300 units but I might not have enough space there so I'm going to go scan the bin and follow the instruction and it says scan a01 which I've done I'm scanning the item it's going to show me my picture and it's going to prompt for a quantity and I'm going to hit 150 now I'm going to go menu, split line, and the second line now, it says scan bin. And it's now allocated 150 units for the second line. So we're receiving into this 150 per line. And from here, we just hit post. Yes. And the put away is done. It's completed. If we go look at this item in inventory, I can see that we've got stock on hand. If I go into the demo warehouse, I can see now our stock has gone up by 300 units in AO1 and AO2. If I'm to click on AO1, 
I can see that there's been a movement of 150 units just here. And likewise in the AO2, movement of 150 items. So that completes receipting the purchase and putting it away.